Hey guys, hope you're well. So I've uploaded a video before on sharpening, resharpening your own drill bits. Um, but as with all things, uh, you're always constantly looking to uh, improve and speed up various processes and whatever. And I've managed to do that here, so I'm going to show you this one. And uh, this, this is um, so far the quickest way I know of doing it. And it's actually more accurate than the way that I showed you before. So I'll take that video down. Uh, there's no point having it there. Um, it takes a bit of a steady hand, steady eye, but any knife maker worth their salt will be able to do this in literally less than a minute. Uh, so I'll show you what we're doing here. Now this is a 7mm bit. Um, I don't tend to sharpen or resharpen anything less than a 4mm. Uh, reason being is because they start getting pretty cheap then and you're looking at a point of diminishing returns. But anything larger than about a 4mm or so. And you can end up saving a fair bit of money, especially when you get up into like t uh, 10, 11, 12mm. You're looking at, you know, 10 quid, 16 bucks per bit. It's well worth doing, especially when it doesn't take you so long to do it. So let me show you this bit quickly. We can see that the we can see that the, the tip there is pretty chewed up. Okay, so I'm going to pop that in the drill press and have a dab at this little pop of, of, of a D2 D2 steel. Now I tend to run the drill uh, slower than what I normally would with 01 I find it cuts a lot better so around about for a 7mm bit that I've got here I run this around about 540 RPM normally maybe with 01 or mild steel something like that I'd run it around 830 but for I find it cuts a lot better at a slower speed basically using a semi stainless uh, or sorry a stainless speed for the drill press so here we go I'll dab this in I'm not going to use any lube normally I'd recommend using lube and also um, Anything larger than a quarter inch bit, I do like to use pilot holes, but for the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to go straight in dry with this one. You see it's cutting. But it's squealing a lot, and you're not really getting the spirals that we look for when we're drilling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out, I'm going to move the camera around so you can see what I'm doing and I'll show you how I sharpen up the drill bit. Okay so what we've got here is a Trizac belt um, A45 which is round about the equivalent of a 280 grit. Now I'm using the this the Trizac, the 3M type Trizac, instead of the Gator type Trizac, because the Gator ones, even though you know you get the, the relevant sort of grit sizes and all that, um, they're a lot more fragile than, than this particular type, and you end up wearing a groove in it, which of course then renders it pretty much useless for, for other stuff, surface grinding uh, and finishing bevels and whatnot. Whereas this one here it also remains a lot flatter to the platen, and uh, it just it works better as a whole. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer this up. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the angle consistent, and then I'm gonna work on that damaged edge there. And once that's gone, I'm then gonna twist it back round to remain to, to keep the rake of the actual drill bit itself. If you just go in there flat, of course, then you lose the rake and it won't cut because if you see on the back here, it has an angle to it, which means that this leading edge here cuts into the metal. This trailing edge here allows it to do that whereas if it was flat 90 degrees it wouldn't come into the, to, into the metal so I'm going to take that edge down until it's basically like sharpening almost you, because you can see that that burr there disappear and then once you've done that then you can rotate it back and grind down the rest of it to keep that rate consistent now what I've got here also is a squirty bottle of water because if this does get a little bit too hot to hold rather than moving my fingers back and losing control I can stay up close just cool it down a little squirt of water okay so that's what we're going to do we're going to sharpen this up now
as you can see that burr's now gone Let's see if we can get some focus it's a little bit warm that burr's now gone and we are good down to down to the good metal but what's happened here if you can see is that the tip is now moved over to one side because we've ground off this side here and that side has remained unground so the tip has moved across as well so now what we need to do is grind the opposite side here bring that tip back to central again and remove the burrs on this leading edge really is that quick and easy. So the burrs removed from that, burrs removed from that, and as we can see the tip is once again central. Okay. Now getting that accurate to like a thousandth of an inch is, is not really important because once it gets past that point there it'll be cutting the same circle that any drill bit would I mean I try and get it as close as possible but I eyeball it, I don't mic it up and all that sort of business and of course when you get into the larger type drill bits anyway <coughs> you'll be using a pilot hole so the actual concentricity of that central point there is, uh, is not massively important although you do want it as close as possible so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the camera around again put this same drill bit back in the drill and show you how well it cuts That's the drill bit going in now. Move our piece of steel along. Again, going in dry, same speed. Let's see how we get on. Again, no pilot hole, so this should cut straight through nice and easy now, get them spirals that we want. That's what we like. So there you go guys. Very quick and easy way to sharpen a drill bit. And I've just saved probably five five quid by doing that. Took a minute to do. Okay guys? And of course when you get into the bigger drill bits, like I say, you can end up saving a fortune and you know you've got all that to play with. Well worth doing. Thanks for coming along. I uh, hope you found it useful. Any questions, drop me in the comments box and I will see you soon. Peace.